today I'm joined by my assistant. Gigi! I'm intrigued by just how strong Super Vegito is. I must test the cell. Mm, you sound like such a scholar. I hope Gohan grows up to be as smart as you. Hey, this is pretty... Oh god. She left your assistant transporter on. But no worries, I sent her back. She was really a nice girl once you got to know her. Oh, hold on. You actually got that thing to work? Oh yes, I guess you could say third time is the charm. Say, Isaac, you think you could do that again? Yes, Jay, I don't see why not. Good, because I know just who I want to work with this time. You got it, Jay. Leave it to me. Alright, looks like it's my turn to represent a fighting game. And I am liking this representation already. You need to learn your place, Outworlder. Very good, Outworlder. You impressed me. It's Jay Cavanaugh, and I'll have you know I have many talents besides cooking and making drinks. Tell me what you got. I want to do one too. And just what do you want to do, pray tell? Oh, that's pretty easy. Super Smash Brothers. Fine. But just remember, Richter, I will not be doing this alongside of you. That's okay. I don't need you for this one. I knew you would disagree. You know me all too well, Richter. See you around. <laughs> hey, kid, get in here. And with that, we come to the close of the Super Smash Brothers video. Master Artemis, I hope you liked it. Hope you had fun, Richter, because now we get serious. It's time for King of Fighters. And that was our holiday video, so to speak. We hope you all enjoyed it. You know, Richter, there's still that literal matter of you saying you didn't need me around for Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> And I didn't need you. The kid and I did just fine, Artemis. Really? Is that all you have to say to me? Not likely. It's been a while since we've had a good fight. Get for you. What do you have? How about something I like to call the Kavanaugh Hero? What's in it? It is Hawaiian Punch, Green Apple, and Watermelon Vodka. Huh. Looks good. Not bad at all. What else do you have? I have something else I like to call the Reluctant Hero. And that's made with peach schnapps, Midori, and light margarita mix. That sounds awfully sweet. <laughs> Considering that you use candy and chocolate to recover, how is that a problem? Well, you know, at least I don't spend all my time with fairies. I have another one for you. It's called the Science Nerd. In it, it has banana rum, Red Bull, and pineapple juice. does, but I would still like to give it a try. So, what do you have next for us, Tapper? This one I like to call the Eternal Rival. And it has blue curacao, tequila rose, and Sprite. That sounds awfully strong. <laughs> Can't be nearly as strong as using Mayu's love. Well, I don't have anything to protect me against that. Although, Purim has this thing called Barrier that bounces back the damage. Tapper, I'll have one. Hold that thought, gentlemen. I have some other customers I need to serve. Sorry to keep you waiting. Some customers can be so impatient. 
I have one more for you. It is called The Right Hand Man. And it is Cherry Pepsi, Fireball, and Jean Bean Honey. That sounds good. In fact, Link, instead of a sword fight, why don't we each have one of these drinks? Whoever's still standing after all the drinks is the winner, and they pay for all the drinks. All right, you're on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. How long was I out? Huh. Kavanaugh, you fool. Between Katana and the drinks, I don't know, it's more embarrassing, but you're a lightweight through and through. Huh. Artemis, you feeling better? No! Oh, there my printer! <laughs> Never considered you a lightweight. Oh god, I should have known Artemis couldn't hold his liquor. And neither can I. Well, Pillage is in the sink! Yeah. Oh, good morning, Richter. How's Artemis? Eh. Lightweight. Had to pull his hair back because he threw up. He beat me in the fight, though. He just can't hold his liquor. Well, Bucky, I have some tea that I'll make for everyone. And it even says healthy liver function detox. So I think everyone should feel much better after this. Excellent work. By the way, how much did you have? Let's see, I had a bottle of Jack, a bottle of vodka, a bottle of blue curacao, a bottle of peach schnapps, something else. Oh yeah, and a whole bottle of Jaeger. Well, you have definitely impressed me beyond belief, kid. You can just hold your liquor a lot better than the other three. Some special training I got in Japan. Well, good to hear. Still got a long way though, just remember. Oh. Bad news is, gentlemen, I'm a little hungover, but the good news is, our video's got great reception. I say we do the whole thing over again next year. Oh! <sighs> I'll go get the mop. Oh, God. Alright, time to check those emails. Artemis Roth has tagged you in something. Hmm. <laughs> Bet he's just admitting how my video got more views than him. Or maybe that Katana and I really should be an item. Well, let's click this notification and find out what it is. Uh, I don't get it. You know what you the mask on? She looks so pretty and then takes it off and all. Bleh. I mean, <laughs> what have I been doing with my knob on the side? Maybe I should just raise the apples or something. <laughs> Alrighty, so here is the last of our taste tests for the mixed drink month, even though I know it's technically spilled into almost two months. But regardless, let's go ahead and start with the Cabin Off Hero. And here's those ingredients on the screen. Very tasty, very smooth going down. You know, I thought that was probably one of the smoothest drinks we've had so far. Thus far, yeah. You can definitely taste more of the Hawaiian punch than the alcohol, you know. Yeah. How nice of you to join us I mean, on I could, this taste I test. Could, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I could, I could taste some of the watermelon at the end, but I didn't really taste too much of the apple. I honestly couldn't taste either one. Like I said, I, the Hawaiian punch, I think, overpowered it for me, but... I mean, it might be different for you too. I taste a little bit. Well, I kind of went down on the ingredients a little bit just because I know how strong vodka is. Yeah. And with some of the past ones we've done, you know, 
the vodka tended to be a little overpowering, so I wanted to kind of tone it down. I told, and you, then, I told you there's only one drink out of all the ones I've drank that I haven't been able to finish. The Majin Buu one? Well, yeah. that's because that was all vodka. That was all vodka. I still need to try that. Good. Have fun. <laughs> Um, this one. <clears throat> yep. This one's the Reluctant Hero. Ingredients. You can tell I have a drinking problem. <laughs> you know that, that was very smooth too. You know what that tasted like? Uh, it tasted like a green popsicle, but alcoholic. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Adult popsicles. <laughs> we need to market this. Chris, get on that. <laughs> yeah, we need to do this now if someone watches us and gets our idea. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you do, we're coming for you. I did like that one better than uh, the last one. I did too, actually. So, so that figures that Ken was always better than Jay. Still is. Yes. And he's being trained to be better too. Yes. So. So let's go ahead and move on to the science nerd. I swear this one still looks like piss, y'all. <laughs> as long as it doesn't taste like it. Ooh, banana. <laughs> but I definitely taste more of the pineapple in there. I see, I, yeah, I can definitely taste more of the pineapple, but I like pineapple, so it's fine with me. Yeah, yeah perfectly fine. Tastes a little bit of the banana. Mind you, I still like the Reluctant Hero better than that one, but... I don't taste any Red Bull in there. I didn't either. No, I, but I'm pretty sure the Red Bull will kick in later. Yeah. <laughs> like, try to go to sleep. Well, so much for that idea. <laughs> sleep? What is sleep? And I'll feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put on my, the white shirt again to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that one. So far, Ken is still my favorite. And now we move on to the Eternal Rival. A.K.A. the Blue Swamp Water looking one. Yes, the Blue Swamp Water. Mmm. Chunky. Mmm. It's not bad. A little chunky, but you know, you can't help that. That's just because of the tequila. Oh. Uh, Freaking tequila. <laughs> Still, it was good. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't call it the best, but it was definitely good. Yeah. I only wash that chunky shit out of my mouth. No. It sounds nasty. Move on to the final one, which is the right hand man. This Green. better be the best. Oh yeah. This drink. I like it. Another! <laughs> Definitely. The right hand man wins. Well, maybe. I definitely like the cherry flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that. I'm glad you're pleased. Yeah, I wanted to go because we've done a couple that were like Jack and Coke, mm -hmm. or like you know whiskey and Coke. So I wanted to kind of mix it up, add a little different flavor to it, being yeah. the cherry. So I guess we can actually do a top five because there were only five. Chris, you go first. Um, if you don't remember them, so just say the number, and I'll tell you the name. All right, the uh, the last one that we did, the Wait, Red Hand Man. That are you going from bottom to top or top to bottom? Uh, last to best. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, okay. I'd I'd say number one for me is Red Hand Man, just because, like I said, I like the uh, the cherry flavor. So, mm -hmm. so basically, his favorite. Okay. Um. Uh, number two, I say is Reluctant Hero. Okay. Uh, number three, I'm horrible with names. I guess I just. Like, say number five, I can definitely say was uh, what was the one that I said was the chunk, the blue chunky one. The Eternal Rival. The Eternal yeah. Rival. That's your bottom one. Yeah, I'd say that's my bottom one, just because, like I said, I just thought that it was uh, because of the texture. The texture, yeah, it was the texture that got me. Uh, I wasn't really too fond of that, but I mean, taste-wise, it was good. But it is—it was the texture that got me. Mm -hmm. So that's your bottom one. Yeah. What's, um, what's the second bottom one? The one that I didn't name. Oh. But I mean, what order? <laughs> um. Uh. What was the what was the uh, the f other one that we did? What was I said the, the yellow one was the science nerd. That was the pineapple juice and the banana, and then the other one was the. Fruit Punch and Watermelon Vodka and Apple. Oh, the Fruit Punch one, I'd say, 
I'd say that's my fourth one. Okay. My fourth one. <laughs> I mean, I like that one too because <clears throat> I like Hawaiian Punch. And then mm -hmm. Science Nerds, you're number three. Yeah. Okay. Just because I like pineapple. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. For you? Well, for me, it's similar to Chris's uh, top five, but, um, or how he yeah. uh, numbered it. Except, I like Rock and Hero better. Mm -hmm. That's my number one. And then Right Hand Man is number two. Everything else is basically what Chris said. Science Nerd number three. What was the name of the first one? Uh, Cabin of Hero. <clears throat> Cabin of Hero number four and Eternal Rival five. So. Mine is actually slightly different from that, uh, and I'm going from uh, bottom to top. Mm -hmm. Number five to me was Eternal Rival. The texture didn't really bother me so much, it's just I thought it was the very bottom out of all of them. Right. Um, number four would be Kevin Off Hero, because, you know, I didn't really taste any of the alcohol in it. You know, it just tasted like Hawaiian Punch with a hint of something in it. Uh, number three would probably be the uh, probably right hand man, but as I've mentioned before, I'm more into the fruit flavored drinks. Um, then number three, more number two, that would be science nerd because I love pineapple and I do like banana flavored rum. And then number one to me was definitely the reluctant hero. So you're most, shep you're most socially awkward persona one. Yes. You know, and this was non-biased because these were based off my characters, but out of all the sets we've done, I thought this was the best one. Looks like I'm going to have to train your ass a little better. Well, probably because <laughs> this one wasn't as long as the Dragon Ball Z one. No, the Dragon Ball Z one was eight weeks, I think. Yeah. What? Uh, so has there been one longer than that? Well, we also had more people in it. Yeah, true. I think yeah. there was like five people tasting with us. No, there was... The one you had the most was definitely the Pokemon one. Yeah, um, but... But with Dragon Ball Z, it was you, myself, Bryce, and Aaron. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I liked all these drinks. Right. Like, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, so far, the mixed drinks went over pretty well. So I think we'll do them again next year, or I'm sorry, at the end of this year. Mm. It is next year. <laughs> uh, any? You know, that's why I changed my mind. <laughs> um, any final thoughts from you two? Everything was everything I liked, man. Just, Except I would de I'd definitely be up for doing this again at the end of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, everything was good except for <coughs> the texture of the uh, one that I call the blue swamp water one. Yes, the only blue drink. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice thing. Is these were all easy to remember because they were all the same color, or they were all different colors. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a rating. Be sure to comment, uh, share the video if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe or follow. Thanks for watching.